Hello YouTube! I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today's review is the first horror film ever produced in Israel. That movie is called Rabies, or Kalavet as it's called in its original language, and here are my thoughts on it. In Rabies we head out into the woods where a group of four young tennis players are driving through since they are having an important match later on. Suddenly the trip comes to a stop when they accidentally hits a guy who came running out into the road. The guy tells them that someone in the woods has captured his sister. Since the car also doesn't start up anymore they decide to help the guy out, but there are more danger in this woods than what they could ever have imagined. Rabies takes the killer in the woods premise and does something unique and new with it. Its introduction makes you think you are going to experience a torture riddle film, but it soon switches it up by adding humor and cleverness that makes it stand out and be a bit interesting. It succeeds in being different, making you wonder where the story will go, or who, if any, will actually be able to survive. And just as a warning here, I'm going to go into a bit of a spoiler territory here. Nothing that will ruin your own experience with the film, but if you don't want to know anything more about Rabies, then you should turn this video off at this point. Basically, the evil in the film are not explained. You are misled to believe that there is a serial killer on the loose in the woods, but judging by the actions that come, the evil comes out of all the characters as soon as they are put into a stressful situation. It's basically showing how violent people can be, I guess. It feels like there's supposed to be an underlying message to the whole thing, but if so then it is not explained very well, or perhaps I just didn't fully understand it. The uniqueness of the film does make you keep attention all the way through the end but it does not save the film from having a shorter way of telling a story. There are many better ways that they could have used this premise while still being different enough to stand out. There is no single character that we follow in Rabies as we jump from one to another, and while some might find this approach to be a better choice, I think the same could have been told with a much more conventional way of storytelling. What I did enjoy the most about Rabies was how surprisingly fun it was. Due to the film having a realistic look to it and first introducing itself, with the idea of being a dark film filled with torture. The humor comes off like a small shock to the system, and the filmmakers deserve credit for being able to pull that off. It's not laugh your ass so funny, but rather morbid humor that I can see fellow horror fans find enjoyable. I did wish that more of the characters stood out though. The only one that will stay with you is the perverted cop Duval, played by Danny Geva. He's such an over the top bad guy, while still treading within comedic territories, that even if he's about to do or say some offensive stuff, you can't help but still laugh at him and hope he sticks around for a long time. The rest of the characters lack enough personality or time to be developed that you won't care much about them. Not like it seems that the filmmakers was worried about that stuff in the first place. This is the first film made by the duo Aaron Casales and Navot Papishado. I give them credit for trying to play with the genre and do something new, and they do show promise there, which would lead them to follow up this one with Big Bad Wolves in 2013. While they are having fun with the events that take place, they also do not hold back for the few scenes that demand violence. Rabies is not a great film, but it is different and fun enough for it to be worth seeing. It isn't quite enough to warrant a blind buy though, but if you see it on a streaming service or come across it for cheap, then sure, by all means, give it a chance. I doubt I will ever revisit it or even think about this film in the future as it doesn't have enough qualities to stick with me, but I'm not mad that I spent 90 or so minutes with it. Rabies is okay, and as such it gets a score of 2.5 out of 5. Anyone else seen Rabies? What did you like or dislike about it? If you are after other horror movie reviews then be sure to check out my other stuff, and I also have a Patreon page if you feel like supporting the channel with a few bucks. Check the description for more info, hope to see you again in the future, and thank you for watching.